before this video starts off, I, I want to ask you to watch this thing from the beginning to the end because I have several tips that I've snuck in and stuff at the end of the video that you're going to want to see important information about this. Um, I just had these tires replaced with Goodyear Endurance tires and um, you'll hear some things about how um, they jack the, tried to drag, jack the trailer up and I caught them and stopped them or they would have caused damage to the axles. Um, also, um, you'll be able to see other things where I took the um, Castle Rock tire and pushed down on it and the pushed down on this tire, the um, Goodyear Endurance tire, to show you the difference in quality of them. And also, uh, that you'll, you'll hear me talk about uh, replacing the tires, how often you should replace them, where Goodyear said to replace them in a certain amount of time, and then the um, discount tire said another um, time. So um, please, please listen for that. Um, I want to say I was, I was pretty happy with good discount tire or America's tire um, with their pricing. They had a special going where you got $110 off if you ordered them online and then scheduled an appointment for them to install them. And then another $60 if you use their credit card, which I had one of their credit cards. So um, I was able to save like $170. So watch for those specials. And they'll be um, usually a couple times a year, Labor Day and also 4th of July. Around that time, they do discounts. So, anyway, um, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, feel free to comment below if you like. Um, and all my videos, I, if there's products I use, I put down in the description below links to what I used. So keep an eye on that. And comments uh, I might make later on in a few months. Uh, I might do updates of how it's going with the, the products I use. So... Feel free to subscribe if you like. If you don't want to, that's fine too. But uh, there's uh, advantages to subscribing is you'll get, uh, if you hit subscribe and then the bell icon and hit all, then you'll see all my videos that come out as they come out. Um, so I appreciate it. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment. I'll get back to you as soon as I can in the comments section. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. So enjoy the video. Hello everyone. So I'm going to take this uh, trailer right down to the shop pretty soon, next hour or so, and replace these Goodyear Endurance tires that I've had on here for about 20,000 miles. Prior to this, I had Castle Rock tires that came with the trailer. And they, uh, after maybe 1,500 miles or so, they got a big bulge in the tire and I had to replace them. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go with the better tire because I've heard so much about the, the Castle Rock tires uh, exploding and doing a lot of damage here. So I didn't want to take a chance on it. Um, I was able to take the tires off and sell them to somebody online for a hundred bucks for all of them or something like that. So um, they were just gonna use it for a trailer to tow around for landscape trailers so they weren't going long distances. I kept uh, one of the good uh, Castle Rock tires and put it on my spare and um, I've been having it on there. So fortunately, uh, in the miles that I've driven these, I haven't had any blowouts or any problems with them or anything. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take my best tire here and put it on as a spare and get rid of that uh, Castle Rock tire. And then when I go down to check these out, I'm going to uh, change these out. I'm going to put this tire side by side by a Castle Rock tire and push on it and flex it and show you uh, the comparisons and how they're built. Um, and so also another thing in the video is I have this tire pressure monitoring system that I installed in, um, a while ago, the TST. I've done a video on it and uh, something I noticed here that's happening 
on the valve stem, the cap here with the monitor is uh, rubber. Here for the valve stem, which they say is fine to use, you won't have any problems, but I'm noticing some wear here. And I'm gonna zoom in in a minute and show you. Uh, I'm gonna have metal valve stems put on here also. So let's get this thing going. And just uh, so you know here, uh, what I'm gonna do, uh, my, one of my next videos I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put together a video of uh, me flexing this Goodyear tire next to this Castle Rock, which I'll show you in this video. But I'm also gonna show uh, in the next YouTube video that along with off the internet and Facebook groups, people have posted their, their Castle Rock tires exploding and doing damage, even on the spare tire, uh, just sitting there not doing anything and just blowing up. I'm gonna show maybe around 150 quick pictures to show you all the damage and all the uh, blown up tires in that video. So that should be enjoyable to watch. So I'm gonna go and do a closer look here and show you the damage here around the valve stem. Here we are zoomed in. The rubber valve stems here, I'm gonna have them replaced out with the metal. Because what's happening, I guess when I'm driving, you can see the scrape marks here from this hitting and moving back and forth, it's moving quite a bit. So I think over time, this would just break from the wear on it um, going all over. So I just noticed that. Um, I don't know if it's because the rubber's breaking down or if it's just been doing it since day one and it finally wore on the metal. And then that, you can see over here, here's the other one. They're all doing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, have the metal valve stems put on when I have the tires done. It'll cost a little bit more, but that's fine by me. Here's the penny test. So what you wanna do is uh, you'll put this in the groove of the tire. And if you, uh, if his hair is covered up, your tire's okay. If not, then you need to replace your tires. Um, they say at 4 30 seconds of an inch, then you should be replacing your tires. And then, so if you see below his hairline, uh, you should be getting your tires changed pretty quickly. So here is a, this one, pretty close to his hairline on that. Let me go to the next groove. It's okay. It's okay there. So it looks like it's wearing a little more on the outside. So I want to take my worst depth here um, and change it out. Change these tires because I'm going to be going on a long trip pretty soon. I don't want to take any chances of the tires blowing up on me and tearing the trailer up. Um, you can see here, um, there's a little bit of small cracking here, which it doesn't uh, matter too much. It's just uh, on the treads area, it's not bad. The sides are holding up really nicely. Actually, it shows no wear on here. I probably could get some more miles out of this, but um, I don't want to take a chance. I'm going to take you to another tire and we'll take a look at it and see how bad it, it is. Here's another tire. You can see it's right over uh, his hairline, so this tire needs to be replaced. I'm going to go around the other side where I checked and I saw a tire that's uh, really worn uh, compared to these. On this tire, you can see pretty clearly, you can see that this tire is um, for sure uh, needs to be replaced. So this is one reason I, uh, I want to do it because this one's worn and the other ones will be right behind it. Let's go to the other tire and look at it. And this tire is pretty much like the other tire, so uh, it's a good reason to replace it. While we're here, let's take a look at the manufacturing date of this tire. So you take a look at your tire, look for the DOT here, and I'll zoom in on this number. And what this means here, this tire was made on the 48th week of 2016. So 48th week of 2016. So right now it's uh, September of 2021. So it's roughly, what is that? I don't know, four or five years. 
the tire all in all like I said it looks pretty good the other one like I said was cracking slightly up here but uh, all the other tires are good on it there and showing so much cracking really no cracking so um, some people say oh replace these things every four years no matter what well I contacted Goodyear and they said tires can if everything's good on the sides no cracking no wear the tread depth is good and you keep an eye on them bring them into a, a Goodyear Center somebody that sells these tires have them check them out they can go 10 years plus so it's all up to uh, uh, probably the environments how much you use them uh, you know if it's the environments like if it's snowy cold hot what kind of travel you're on rough roads whatever so don't just be switching these out every 10 or four years just because that's what everybody's saying so i got that right from goodyear they said a lot of people are doing that and they don't need to so let's take this thing down and get the tires changed out on it here i am at america's tire Here's the rear tire that I'm going to be taking off. This is a Castle Rock tire. And replacing it with my best Goodyear tire that I have on the trailer right now. So they got a nice big parking lot for me to turn around, pull up to the bay. I'm just waiting for them to uh, get people available to work on it. So as you can see in the video, I'm back at home right now, but I wanted to talk to you about how the trailer was jacked up. When the guy went under to put the jacks, he put a jack on each, each axle right here, but originally he was gonna do it right here, jack it up here and on the other bar that's up there. For, so they jack each axle. With these um, axles, torsion flex axles, you do not jack here, you can bend it. You do it right here, close to where the frame is, jack it up. So uh, when I caught the guy doing it, I said, whoa, whoa, you don't jack them up there. And he says, we always jack them up. Every trailer we do, we jack them up here. I said, with these axles, you don't jack it up here. So I had him jack them up here. So he went around and jacked this trailer up um, the right way. But if I hadn't caught him, it would have been all messed up and probably bent my axles. So keep an eye on the guys when they're doing it. Even if you let them know when you check in and everything, say don't jack up on the axles, hang around and watch them do it. Right now, here's the Goodyear Endurance, the new one. Here's the old one, and here's the uh, Castle Rock tire. So, looking at it, this Goodyear Endurance is taking some grinding here. You can see, I didn't really see it too well on the uh, when it was on the trailer, but it, grinding and gravel and asphalt and stuff on turns it looks like it grounded. So, I'm glad I'm replacing these. And here's the Goodyear Endurance. So you can see right here, I'll just do this penny test. You can see it's right there at the head, at the top of the head. Here's a new Goodyear Endurance. See how it's uh, covering the head up to the, close to the nose. Then here's the Castle Rock tire. It's, it's about the same depth as the Goodyear Endurance. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a little bit of difference here in these two tires. I forgot my tripod. I'm gonna compare this new Goodyear Endurance with the Castle Rock for strength. And then I'll do the 
old Goodyear Endurance with the Castle Rock tire. Compare them. I'm going to do my best to film this because I forgot my tripod at home. So here's a Goodyear Endurance tire. I'm going to push down. I'm going to do my best to do the same test on both of them. So I'm putting all my weight on it right here. That's all my weight on the top of the tire. Now I'll do the uh, Castle Rock tire and I'll push as hard as I can here. Big difference. There's no sidewall strength. And also the on the tire itself, the rubber here on the tread isn't very strong. So let me see if I can push. I'm pushing here at a weird angle. You can see it. Let me come over here to this Goodyear. Try and do the same thing. No way. So now I'm going to lay this on its side. The Castle Rock. And step on it. That's a little stronger. Here. That way. And then I'm going to do it here. Yeah, it's a little stronger. It's actually a lot stronger right here on this point. And this, this actually pushes in slightly. So, one more time. Castle Rock tire. Look at the difference in that tire. That's terrible. And then the endurance tire here. Not even flexing. And then here's a Goodyear tire that's roughly four and a half years old. It's pushing down a little bit, but not much. I'll try pushing it down here on the side. It's flexing just a little more than the, the new one was. So there you go. Big difference. So to me, these Castle Rock tires aren't near as strong. They don't have the sidewall strength compared to the Goodyear Endurance, which has a this uh, sidewall strength here. So there you go. They're almost done. And they're actually uh, balancing the tires. Part of the cost of all this is to balance the tires and they're putting uh, metal valve stems on for me. And I'm not sure if they're gonna charge me extra for those or not, we'll see. Castle Rock tire. New Goodyear Endurance tire. As you can see, the Goodyear Endurance tire does not flex very much. I'm recording this after I got home and sneak it in here just before he went to torque these uh, lug nuts at 100 pounds. So I watched him do it and I thought it was a good way of doing it. What they did was they released the pressure on this jack here until the tire was just touching, then released the pressure on this jack till this tire was just touching and then torqued it to 100 foot pounds like it's supposed to be. And the reason for doing that was he didn't want to lower it all the way down so the total weight is on the tires and you might not get the full 100 pound torque uh, by having the whole weight of the trailer on here. So um, I thought that was good. So once he had it all torqued down, checked out twice, he dropped it down and went to the other side and did the same. So I really like how he did that. And then the next uh, 
shot here, you're going to see him torquing the lug nuts. I'm home now and I want to show you these uh, valve stems. They're solid, they're chrome, they won't flex, they aren't going to do any more damage. They came with these nice caps, but I have the tire pressure monitoring system here, so I don't need them. So I'm real happy with it. So like I said before, I had them replace uh, the four uh, axle tires, and this is my spare. Took off that castle rock, and I'll just put it on uh, Craigslist or something to see if somebody wants to buy it. We picked out the best tire to go here. The Goodyear on here is my spare. And uh, just want to say I'm happy to get that Castle Rock tire off of here. And then they put a new valve stem on here. They said this is a nice stem. It's pretty strong. I like their valve stems at that place. Here's a quick tip for you on the um, the birth of the tire. The tires that I got are the 23rd week of 2021. So all my tires that, that I got here are with, there's like two of them like this, and then there's two of them that are like a month uh, older tire. So I just wanna let you know, check with them, tell them you want dates as close as possible because uh, one time when I went in, they gave me tires, um, they were gonna put them on, where the dates were like, it was like eight months difference. So make sure you check that, that's really important. Or they're just gonna throw on whatever they got. You don't want old tires going on your trailer or vehicle. Here's something interesting at America's Tire. Uh, when I went into him, um, I told him how long I had the tires, and he says, oh, that's good, because you need to replace these tires about every five years. And I asked him, why is it every five years? And he said, well, they that's about how long they usually last, and they start cracking and everything. And I told him that I talked to Goodyear, and they told me you can get maybe 10 years out of it if there's no cracking and the wear's fine on them and everything. And he said, well, that's, that's if you, you're, he said, you're right. You're right on that. And I said, we take our trailer every few weeks um, out camping. So we keep the tires moving and, and stuff. So he said, that's, that's better than letting the trailer sit. So if you let the trailer tire sit in the snow and the cold and the heat and everything and the weather, and it's parked a lot, the tires won't last as long. So, um, that's uh, something good to know. So, like I said, a lot of people think that you have to replace these tires automatically every four years. I just hear it all the time in uh, different uh, public forums on, on the internet and Facebook groups where people saying change the tires. You don't have to. I would take it down to a specialist, tire specialist, and let them look at them and give you a uh, good inspection of the tires, the quality of it, and go over it with them. And it's possible you won't have to change your tires so often. So that's a good tip for you.